Hey everyone, welcome to my first video. I hope that we can all learn something from this today. Um, I'm just going to basically run through a simple edit in Lightroom 5 before I would usually put it into Photoshop. Now, this is the image, the final image, taken down at the spit in the Gold Coast. That's Queensland, Australia for international people. Um, yeah, so I was just going for quite a dramatic look that someone could easily process in a couple minutes and be quite happy with an image. Um, yeah, so I'll get started. For this image, you really don't need to use any other tools. You could do it without a gradient filter, but I'll use that so I can selectively do my adjustments to the sky without affecting this image. Now, I'm going for quite a, a dark but contrasty, dramatic image in this. So, step one, how I generally process an image is I'll set a mood with my color balance and my exposure. In this one, I wanted a dark, kind of blue, desaturated look. So straight away, I'll get onto my white balance. I didn't want something like this, as it doesn't really scream dramatic to me. Um, so this kind of neutralizes the colors as well. So if I just pop that like there, you can see it's just it's a flat. It's kind of blue, and it'll 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 come out well. Then I'll get onto my exposure which for this a dark mood I don't want to be setting up here because it's going to be harder to bring the dark into there and work with my highlights when they're already so bright so I'll just play around just you can just swing the slider up and down I mean you could even go that far but for this image I'll just shoot yeah I'll just go there and now you don't have to be really accurate. It's not like I'm going to negative 0.833 kind of thing. You just just play with the sliders, get something you like. Same with contrast, this adds quite, how I feel, a lot of depth to an image. So really play with that without without making your image look silly. So still be subtle with the look, but don't be afraid to push it to the plus 100. So for this image, I'm quite happy with it here. As you can see, my my histogram is it's all within the box, so I'm keeping all the detail possible. So I'll just start down here with my saturation. I want it desaturated, so I'm not pushing these up to make a colourful image. I'm bringing them down to neutralise the whole thing, and kind of it gives a bit of a feeling to the image. So I'm happy with that, Just hit minus two. Now we start playing with the effect that I want. So I'm I'm wanting some, some nice highlights in it. So I'll bring them up without blowing them out crazy. I'll bring the shadows up to bring a little bit more depth. Well, I'll add depth there. A little bit more detail out of there. And then I'll punch these blacks down. So if I didn't have done those shadows, it would be getting too dark there for me. So I'll punch these blacks and it just contrasts these lines and makes them kind of pop a touch more. And then I'll bring my whites. Now I'm not so worried about this as I'm going to be bringing a bringing in a graduated filter to sort out the detail in the lighting here. So that will be my next step after I just adjust the clarity of my picture. Now clarity can make your picture pop a lot, but you've also got to remember that it affects everything in your picture. You might, you might not want it, you might just want the effect on this water. So you'd bring in a graduated filter, but I usually I, I do a simple edit in Lightroom 5 usually and then I go into Photoshop but this we're not going into that in here so we'll just use it 
how we use it. Um, so I quite like the pop that it gives it in this instance. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna set it there. I'll bring it down. I'll set it there. It gives a nice separation here, and really gives you all of this. So we'll jump up to the sky because this isn't quite how I like it. I'm going to use a graduated filter and because you've got quite a flat horizon, no, no mountains sticking up, you can just put this straight straight across. And you'll, you'll notice I didn't pre-adjust my settings here. So I'll bring that <coughs> white balance to suit. And then, first thing I want to do is I'll reset these. You can just double click the sliders and they'll return back to zero. So I want to take the saturation out of the sky because I don't want it really, really blue. And then I want to punch some contrast to once again make that sky really pop on its own. And then highlights and my shadows, I'm going to want to bring out a lot of my highlights. Just again, for some punch and for some dramatic lighting, I guess. And <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm so used to playing with these sliders. I just click them around while I'm talking. So, yeah. The next kind of step that I'll take is... It doesn't seem to sit right here in the fact that my sky is quite bright brights whereas there's not really that bright of brights here in the foreground so this is where an adjustment brush just do it simply we'll just do a stroke oh, my previous settings still on there we'll double click that back to center double click this back to center and all we want to touch is highlights because we want to bring them up and that didn't really that didn't really do much so we'd look at exposure something else to bring the lights up and yeah there we go it brought it up nicely and we can step out of that take that off and then if you ever need to you can still come into here and just finish it off but I'm quite happy with that so there's what we what the original image was that I was going to try to re-edit for this picture or for this video and this is what we came up with it's slightly less blue which I actually prefer, <laughs> funnily enough. But it's the same kind of effect. So we just look at the before. Flat, kind of dull, and then with some simple tweaks, look what you got. And if you like, you can do your profile corrections and whatever else there is that you want to do, but I don't particularly want to do it for this image. I generally do, but not for this. It's so simple and easy that you can get away with this. If you've got buildings and straight lines you want to keep, yeah, you would, but for this video, that's about it. I don't generally don't mess around with any of this. I sometimes mess around with your hue, saturation, luminance, but for this video, you, no. And here's all your sharpening, noise reduction, which we can get into later. So if you're really wanting to know more or this didn't fulfill what you'd like to know, just send me a message. I can put up some, some other videos just for one aspect of Lightroom or I can maybe look at Photoshop for you if you already know this. But pretty much that's that's how I do my thing. Simple, fast, 
and you literally just have this image two minutes later. And I would take these dust spots out. <laughs> okay, well, enjoy and keep following me. I'm possibly going to go on a bit of a sabbatical and maybe do more of this stuff. Hopefully help out some people as sometimes just you don't get to head out as much. So if I can help people out while I'm sitting here and inside, then that would be awesome. If you'd like to see more, flick me a message, write a comment in this post, and we'll try help you out a little. Awesome. Thank you for following me. And if you're not following me, Shane Davich Photography on Facebook. Just flick us a like and write us a message if you'd like. I'm always willing to help someone out or just have a chat. Cool. Well, thank you and look forward to hearing from you. See you.